The Florida State Legislature passes a social media oversight bill, which could soon head to Governor Ron DeSantis' desk. Here's One America's Jack Posobiec. Well, in the state of Florida, Senate Bill 7202, an antitrust proposal for oversight of social media companies, has passed both in the Senate and the House and may be on its way to Governor DeSantis' desk for signing. The bill was argued for under free speech, antitrust, and common carrier grounds. The description of the bill is as follows. Social media platforms, prohibiting a social media platform from knowingly deplatforming a candidate, providing requirements for public contracts and economic incentives relating to entities that have been convicted or held civilly liable for antitrust violations, providing that social media platforms that fail to comply with specified requirements and prohibitions commit an unfair or deceptive act or practice authorizing the Department of Legal Affairs to investigate suspected violations under the Deceptive and Unfair Trade Practices Act and bring specified actions for such violations. On April 26, this bill passed the Senate 2217, and on April 28, it passed the Florida House 78 to 41. The bill defines deplatform as the means, the action, or practice by a social media platform to permanently delete or ban a user or to temporarily delete or ban a user from the social media platform for more than 60 days. The bill states a social media platform may not knowingly deplatform a candidate. Upon a finding of a violation of this section by the Elections Commission, in addition to the remedies provided, the social media platform may be fined $100,000 per day for statewide candidates and $10,000 per day for other candidates. In addition to candidates, the bill also protects journalistic enterprises. Journalistic enterprises means an entity that publishes in excess of 100,000 words available online with at least 50,000 paid subscribers or 100,000 monthly active users, publishes 100 hours of audio or video available online with at least 100 million viewers annually, operates a cable channel that provides more than 40 hours of content per week to more than 100,000 cable television subscribers, or operates under a broadcast license issued by the Federal Communications Commission. The bill states, a social media platform may not take any action to censor, deplatform, or shadow ban a journalistic enterprise based on the content of its publication or broadcast. Post prioritization of certain journalistic enterprise content based on payments to the social media platform by such journalistic enterprise is not a violation of this paragraph. Deplatforming journalists enterprised will result in the social media company being fined up to $100,000 in statutory damages per proven claim. For now, this will be the first law in the nation of this kind, should Governor DeSantis sign it into law. In addition, conservative legislators have also proposed such a bill that would protect all users in the fight for freedom of speech in the new public square of the 21st century. For One America News, I'm Jack Posobiec. Want to see more videos like this? Visit OANN.com for immediate access to all the clips you've been waiting to see.